Well, I want to give you my perspective about uh, the role of a teacher in our life, which I think that can be a quite um, dangerous, dangerous thing or very helpful thing. It really depends the way we go about it and uh, how we progress into it. Because uh, for sure we need to learn from someone else who had some experiences about a particular um, subject, subject that we want to learn. No doubt about it. That person has worked uh, in that path for a long time. Uh, it has some tools that can provide us. It can provide support. It can give right perspective. But there is a, a little issue, especially related in the field related to spirituality, that we put the teacher into some kind of uh, an idle uh, place, like a divine place, when in reality it's just another human being. So we, uh, we can learn from that person without uh, having a distort image of that person. We, we can take that person for the best that it has to offer, understanding that if we are here, we have some things to resolve ourselves. So nobody is 100% perfect uh, because we are here as humans experiencing this thing. So there is a progress, there is a process that we go through. Um, but that doesn't mean that we cannot learn from anybody, even from a dog, if you have the right perspective, you can learn if you know how to watch it. But uh, one very dangerous thing that happens sometimes is the dependency process. So we create uh, the idea that only through that person we can grow or grasp some mystical thing or some stuff which is um, wrong of course we can have some tools but then it's our work that make us grow and a good teacher in my opinion is somebody who's gonna who's never gonna make their students dependent on him or on herself because a good teacher is a student first of all that has used certain tools, is able to pass them on and watch and support if it is needed. Not somebody who's gonna put a magic wand, use a magic wand and make somebody progress from zero to hundred in one night. It is very important to create the right connection in the sense that we have the right perspective before we learn certain things or how we should relate. Of course, you have to be respectful, but also the teacher needs to be respectful towards the student. And, uh, and we have to understand we have a role. So there is a teacher, there is a student. It doesn't mean that one is better than the other. It's just a moment of life where you are a student, someone else is a teacher about a specific subject. Then we should carry on our life in the way that we want. There are certain paths that encourage, in the spiritual path, for instance, devotion. And I can I can understand that bringing the teacher to a divine level, it helps people to get rid of themselves quickly, because they just burn with love for their teachers, and of course they will get rid of themselves quickly, which could be a good thing to do. But if for instance, in that case, that person will just stay only on that phase. will never be free, because we'll think that only through the teacher you can become free. So, it doesn't work like that. You learn, you practice, you investigate. Someone can help you, but you have to do the work. You have to be responsible. It's the end of the day you experience your life through yourself. And if you're looking for something more than yourself, <laughs> there is an issue, I think, because we are being sold some kind of uh, good story. Of course, it doesn't mean that the possibilities are just what they are for now in our life. The more we go inside, the more we understand ourselves, the more we might discover uh, new possibilities that maybe we thought that were not possible. But because we're doing a certain work, life possibilities start to extend. Perception, senses, all these kind of things. That's why I think it's very important to keep a very practical approach uh, while learning. Knowing that somebody can help you when it is needed. 
knowing that it is just another human being with these good and bad aspects for you if it, th th there is a good and bad aspect but if we learn to respect everybody in where they are and what they do we can learn from everybody we can respect everybody but we can be our own independent in this world expressing our own self in our own way in our own potential without offending anybody just having some common sense to be you in the way you are so we get out from textbooks we get out from uh, gurus we get out from dog dogmas we explore our life through ourselves